What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the perfect jailbroken iPhone. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you obviously the theme as well as all the tweaks that I have installed to get this look and effect that I have on my device right now. Now I've actually thought about turning this into a series. So if you guys wanna see a whole bunch of different setups for your device, then make sure you hit that like button to let me know that you guys wanna continue this type of video. Now this setup here that I'm showing you is actually heavily inspired by a user by the name of X Significant from Reddit. I changed a few minor things, but this is still his setup and his idea. I just thought it was really cool, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and start on my lock screen. So we have a few things at play here. First of all, we have a tweak installed called Hide Me Light 8. Now what that does is allow me to hide the camera grabber as well, or I'm sorry, the camera grabber, notification center grabber, and the control center grabber right here. Now we also have a tweak installed called Groovy Lock. That's going to allow us to put these cool lock screen widgets on our lock screen. Now the actual lock screen widget that I have installed here is called LS Bare Bones Tiny Mod. Now you're actually going to have to install uh, a couple of repos for all these tweaks. I'll be sure to link them all in the description below for you guys. Now, of course, down here we also have Lockliff installed and the theme is called Kingdom Hearts. You're also gonna have to add a repo for that. Now, right over here in the bottom left-hand corner, we have If Found To Beta. Now, if we tap on this, it's basically going to allow us to give us some information. So if you lose your iPhone, somebody's probably going to hit that If Found button and you can see exactly what it does. I don't have any of my information entered here, just because I don't want my personal information out there, but you can see that you can just tap on call owner, email owner, and put your name, address, all that good stuff. So that's definitely a nice tweak to have, especially if you lose your device. Now, of course, if we unlock the device, you'll notice that I have a different keypad, and this is called binary keypad. And of course, it just gives you basically this cool looking keypad. You'll also notice right up here at the top that I have changed the text here that just says good luck, so you can change this to whatever you want to. This is due to a tweak called hot dog. So we're going to go ahead and type in the passcode here and that will bring us to our springboard. So for our springboard, the icon setup or this layout right here is actually due to iconoclasm and I'm using a iconoclasm layout called three by three. That's actually stock in iconoclasm. Now you'll also notice that I have some tabs right around here and this is behind the icons and that's due to Apex too. So you can see when I swipe down then I can get several applications right here. So it's basically like another way of using folders and you can see you can do it in the dock as well right down there. Now this theme is actually called Indigo. So if you want this theme, then check out Indigo. I also have the Indigo icons up here or the indicators for the status bar. So when you download and install Indigo, then just make sure you tick on the Indigo status bar. Now, as we come down here, you'll notice my dock, and this is due to Dock Shift. And Dock Shift actually has several different themes that you can choose from. Right up here at the top in the status bar, we have Date in Status Bar, which obviously puts the date right there in the status bar. And then also over here, we have a tweak installed called Alkaline. And this is a tweak or a theme called Apple Logo Alkaline Battery. So that's basically gonna give you that Apple logo for the battery indicator. Now all you guys know what this theme is right over here. This is Zeppelin and I just have one of the stock uh, Zeppelin logos installed right there. Now if we take a look at the control center, you'll see when I swipe up that it's going to give a nice little blur effect and this is due to a tweak called Flurry. This is actually gonna change a lot of different things throughout your device. You'll notice when I go into the settings here that the top and bottom bars are actually uh, changed up as well. But you'll notice that I also have rounded corners and that's due to a tweak called Corners. Now the theming all done right here is also due to Indigo and all the separators being gone, that's actually due to a tweak called CC Clean. Now I also wanna take a look at my messages, so if I tap on that, you can see that we have a different look. Now this is due to uh, Messages Customizer, so you'll have to add a repo for that if you don't already have it, and I have the wallpaper in the background actually blurred out. And these, the message bubbles, is actually a tweak called Saber. So you're basically just putting a line under each sent message. Now my keyboard also got tweaked out. You can see right there that I have a tweak installed called Sleek Key. So it's basically getting rid of all those separators on the keyboard right there. Of course, you'll obviously see that I have Showcase installed. So this is going to give us the lowercase letters on the keyboard rather than always capitalized. And you'll also notice when I start to type things, if you can hear that, I actually have a tweak installed called Haptic Pro, which basically every time that you touch a key or you start to slide your finger up and down, it basically vibrates the phone just a little bit. Now going back here to my springboard, we'll also notice that I have colored badges and that's due to a tweak called 
color badges, very appropriately named. I also have a bunch of other tweaks installed, of course, like Mobius, as well as you can see right there, Cylinder. But really what I wanna go over in these videos is just how to get this look or how to get this feel. So let me know what you guys think about this type of video. If you guys wanna see more like this, then be sure to hit that like button. Of course, if you wanna see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.